President Safir, President Berman, it is my privilege on behalf of the faculty of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine and the Einstein Graduate Programs in Biomedical Sciences to present to you 172 candidates for the degree of Doctor of Medicine and 47 candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, 16 of whom are also receiving an MD degree today. This brings the total number of graduates to 9,093 Doctors of Medicine and 1,689 Doctors of Philosophy, and many of them are here today. What greater tribute can we pay than to represent this group of young people educated in consonance with your own high standards of excellence, to devote themselves to the improvement of the health of the people as healers, as research scientists, as teachers. The Einstein Graduate Programs in Biomedical Sciences was established in 1957 to provide opportunities for the advanced study and research in the life sciences. And this indeed leads to the PhD degree. We're privileged to have many of you and the 47 candidates participating in our ceremony today. We will now begin the conferring of the degrees of the graduate school. Will Dr. Miles Akabas, Director of the Medical Science Training Program, and Dr. Joan Berman, Senior Academic Advisor to the Graduate Division, please come forward, and will the PhD candidates please rise in place. Throughout history, science has been used for good or for evil. Particularly in our time, it is incumbent upon us to affirm our commitment to use science for the benefit of all. Therefore, I ask you to repeat the following affirmation after me. As I embark on my career as a biomedical scientist, I will strive to incorporate into my research and professional life, the goals and moral principles required for the behavior of a true scientist. I therefore pledge to recognize and respect without bias the contributions of scientists who preceded me, and of fellow scientists and students. To be open to new ideas, regardless of my perspective. To use my training and creativity to seek and disseminate truth. And to use my knowledge to assist others thereby advancing the progress of biomedical science to benefit all humanity. Please remain standing. As we begin the formal graduation process of our PhD students, I now have the pleasure of introducing to you the distinguished president of Yeshiva University, Rabbi Dr. Ari Berman. Please come forward. You know, maybe just sit down for a moment. I feel bad having you stand for this. <laughs> Steve, my dear partner and friend, Gordon, Ed, Roger, the trustees of Einstein, our distinguished faculty, dear family and friends, and especially our dear graduates. Let me just couch my brief remarks in a personal story. A number of years ago, I was the rabbi on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, and I lived on 255 West 88th Street. At the same time, there was somebody else named Ari Berman who lived on 255 West 85th Street. Now, I know this because at some point, I started receiving his presence. First, he graduated law school, 
and I got all these great gifts for graduating law school. Then he landed a great job in a law firm, and I got these great congratulatory notes for landing this position. Then he got married and must have registered at Tiffany's, because <laughs> I received all these great Tiffany presents. At some point, my wife and I decided that we should probably return the gifts. <laughs> so I called this guy, and I said, listen, you don't know me, but my name is also Ari Berman, and I have been receiving your presents. And he said to me, Rabbi Berman, I know who you are. And it's okay that you've been receiving my presents. For while my friends have been sending you their gifts, your congregants have been calling me with their questions. <laughs> now, I think often about this other Ari Berman, because he represents the life that I could have and almost led. When I was an undergraduate student, I took the LSATs, was accepted into law school, was engaged and planned on moving to the Upper West Side. As I studied at the same time in a rabbinic ordination program, worked in Jewish education, and interned in community work. And there was a moment in my life when I stood at a crossroads and I had to choose which Ari Berman I wanted to be. How can I find the best version of myself and use whatever skills God has given to me for the betterment of humanity and society? And thanks to some incredible people who were there for me at this crossroads with guidance and counsel, I was able to make the decision that was right for me that led me towards education and communal work. I mention this story to you to first congratulate you each of you on your personal choice. You too have stood at a crossroads and you have chosen the most noble of professions and have dedicated the skills, abilities, and talents that God has given to you to the greatest of causes to heal and to repair. But this is not just a congratulatory thought. This is a charge to you as well. As medical professionals, you will be present for others at crossroads in their lives, diverging paths where life itself at times hangs in the balance. You will see those who are under your care at their most vulnerable. Be with them at some of the most intimate and exposed times of their lives. Your knowledge to repair their body and your compassion to repair their souls will determine not just the number of their years, but also the quality of those years. How you behave at those crossroads, the kindness you bestow, the confident professionalism you demonstrate, the care and humanity you display will be a defining element in the rest of their lives. This is your charge, and this is why it is our celebration. For we are confident in you, our dear graduates, that you will not only become the best versions of yourselves, but you will also transform the lives of those who are under your care. We congratulate you today, and we congratulate Einstein. Einstein, too, stood at a crossroads. And I want to take a moment to thank, officially and very specifically, Steve Safer for his vision and thoughtfulness in partnering and building a new Einstein. This is a project and institution that has the best of both worlds. On the one hand, it has the excitement and energy of year one with the legacy and with the heritage of having celebrating alumni of 10, 20, 30, 40, a, a heritage of 61 years. And it's coming together and building that together that makes it an exciting, exciting future in the years and decades ahead. I and Yeshiva University are thrilled to partner with you in this very exciting future. This is a wonderful, wonderful moment 
It's a special moment for all of us up on stage, but certainly a special moment for you here this afternoon. And it's a wonderful moment because we know that this is only the beginning of exceptional things to come. Congratulations. Okay, vacation over. Please stand. <laughs> the candidates staring before you today have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. They are recommended for the degree by the doctoral committee, by the dean, and by the chairperson of the department in which they pursue their studies and research. It is therefore my privilege to present them to you for that degree. You have completed the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy as prescribed by the faculty of the Einstein Graduate Programs in the Biomedical Sciences. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby confer you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and obligations appertaining thereto. In witness thereof, as you come forward, you receive a diploma signed by the duly authorized officers bearing its official seal and have placed over your shoulders the visible symbol of this degree, the doctoral hood of philosophy. Congratulations. <laughs> Dean Gordon Tomaselli will now lead the PhD candidates to the stage. Will Dr. Joan Berman please come to the lectern to read the names of the candidates, and will Dr. Miles Acabas and Dr. Pablo Castillo Please come to the diploma area. Will the candidates please step forward as your name is called. President Safir, please join me at the podium. Will the audience please refrain from applauding? Sure. Until all of the graduates have received their diplomas. Will the candidates please remove their hats as they approach the stage? The candidates will be hooded by their graduate mentors. At this time, I would like to call up our first group of mentors. Will Dr. Aviv Bergman, Dr. Kardik Chandran, Dr. Stephen Walkley, Dr. Margaret Killian, Dr. Jeffrey Siegel, Dr. Zing Zing Zhang, and Dr. Wen Gun Guao, please come to the hooding area. Will the following graduates please join your mentors in the hooding area? Daniel Biro, <laughs> Rohan Biswas, Lauren Bodewin, Emily Bird, Raymond Maricut Cabrera, Jordan Cheney, John Robert Kristen. Will read them a little slower. Okay. Will our second group of mentors, Dr. Derek Huffman, Dr. Miles Acabis, Dr. John Condilis, Dr. Bernice Morrow, Dr. Jonathan Backer, Dr. Ann Bresnik and Dr. Wenju Guao, please come to the hooding area. Will the following graduates please join your mentors? Gabriella Evelyn Farisa Kipratur, Ross Firestone, Samir Joseph Hanna, Erica Haston, Samantha Heights, Dale Quinnell Hodge.
Will our third group of mentors, Dr. Nicholas Baker, Dr. Stephen Porcelli, Dr. Florence Marlow, Dr. Kardik Chandran, Dr. Miles Akabis, Dr. John Kandilis, and Dr. Ulick Steidel, please come to the hooding area. Will the following graduates please join your mentors? Zhe Zhen Ji, Christopher Taylor Jandro, Odelia Kaufman, Kafan, Laura Lara Wilson. Christina Krochmer, Edison Leong, and Kelly Mitchell. I would like to call up our fourth group of mentors. Will mentors Dr. Teresa Bowman, Dr. Zingzing Zhang, Dr. Vripitas Gavathiotis, Dr. Matthew Gamble, Dr. Teresa DiLorenzo, Dr. Miles Akabis, and Dr. Brian Jordan, please come to the hooding area. Will the following graduates please join your mentors? Sarah Nick. Kim Chidozi Ahiblam. Dennis Rainier Ruiz. Penelope Ruiz. Jennifer Schloss. Ariel Stock. and Jafar Amandi Tindi. Will our final group of mentors please come to the hooding area? Dr. Cameron Kodaka, Dr. David Schechter, Dr. John Condilis, Dr. Louis Weiss, Dr. Paul Frenette, and Dr. Yusin Su. Will the following graduates please join your mentors? Ariel Vitenzon. Christopher Warren. Samantha Gabrielle Washburn.
Maxwell Drock Weidman, Rama Yakubu, Ali Zahalka, Congratulations. and Yehu Zhu. Please, congrat please join me in congratulating all the graduates. <laughs>